As I mentioned earlier, we have a large number of sites in southeast Michigan in which the emerald ash borer is treating, being treated for very successfully. Today we're at the Edsel and Eleanor Ford Estate and uh, there's a large number of trees here including a large number of ash trees and I'm standing by one here. The reason this tree is, is still here is because of treatments that have been very successful. And the emerald ash borer went through this area about three or four years ago and none of these trees would be here without treatments. In fact, all the trees surrounding this area that have not been treated are long gone. They've been dead and cut down for a couple years now. Now the reason these trees are still here is due to the efforts of Sue Shock of Shock Brothers Tree Service. So let's have a conversation about her, what she has done here and maybe we can learn something for when the emerald ash borer comes to you. Dr. Roberts. How, how have you it. been? Great, thank you. I think you've been very wonderful based upon these trees here. Now I understand the emerald ash borer went through this area about three or four years ago. And so given that a lot of the ash trees around this area are dead and are, have already been removed, what could you have done to keep these ash trees in such beautiful shape given that some people are saying there's no control for this problem? In 2002, we met with the groundspeople here at the Ford Estate, and we talked about uh, the emerald ash borer, and determined that the best plan of attack would be to go after uh, the emerald ash borer in the larva stage where they feed in the cambium of the tree. So uh, shortly after, we uh, sent a crew in here and injected uh, 60 trees at that time using the Wedgel technique, uh, applying pointer, uh, which is a midocloprid 5%, one milliliter every four inches at the base of the tree. Well, that's very interesting. So I, I'm guessing that you attribute the success here due to your treatments, but there's just a few ash trees here, but how big is this estate and about how many trees have you treated? Uh, this estate is approximately 80 acres, and uh, besides the original 60 that we started treating in 2002, we are currently treating 82 ash trees on the main grounds. So given that large number of trees and your success here with keeping them all so healthy, have you had any other inputs? Do you feel any other inputs are needed to uh, keep these trees healthy? Uh, yes, we are. As a matter of fact, we're also using uh, a combination of merit, which is a midocloprid, in a soil application along with uh, slow-release fertilizer with low phosphorus levels because of the lake situation. We're also combining that uh, with micrototal and essential, which is a root stimulator, and we're quite excited about the, res the favorable results that we are accomplishing here.